WVS offers powerful cloud capabilities that support the real-time workflows of distributed teams around the globe. From version control and automated build pipelines to issue tracking and access management, WVS gives you everything you need to build great experiences and collaborate from anywhere. Let's dig into the project tools. Click the bottom section of a project tile to open it. It's very Git-like on first glance, with some basic stats at the top and project files listed below. This is also where you can star and fork projects, as well as control your notification settings. Head to the left side panel and look for activity close to the top. This view shows everything that's happened in your project, including timestamps and collaborators. You can even filter the types of activities for a more focused view. Click on a change list ID to jump directly to a commit or compare with a previous revision, but we'll get to that shortly. The Outputs tab is where you can find any builds or pages generated from your project flows. To grab a new build, just head over to the Actions column and click on the Download Artifact button. One of the strengths of WVS is automating this process in the cloud, so you can stay focused on creating, not bogging down your machine with builds. Flows are units of automation that help you perform common tasks in your WVS projects. They'll get a few videos all to themselves, so for now, just know that this is where you can access all the flows for your project. You will dig deeper into the version control features, though. This is where you can manage all the revisions to your project. The first page here is a quick access to every file managed by WVS, even reference materials and art assets, along with the status and date of their last commit. Branches are different sets of related changes to the same project. In this example, we have a branch for each version of Unreal. You can find detailed information about the project branches here, as well as compare or delete them if needed. Next up is commits. This lists in chronological order every change list that's been submitted to the branch. You can even filter by author if you need. And of course, there's always search. Click on the bold text to link to the detailed view. Here, you can get a lot more context about the change, as well as any automations associated. Whenever you have files checked out for editing, WVS automatically locks them for everyone else. That way, there aren't any conflicts. This page is where you can see individual locked files and unlock them if necessary. Next are tags, which behave just like they do in Git. They let you mark specific comments as significant, great for linking milestones for releases. You can create a new one from the button over here or from inside the detailed view of any commit page. The cool thing is, once it's made, I can jump right to it from the branch menu. It's still part of main, but this way I can jump to a specific release version. If you're a visual person, you can check out the graph. It generates a color-coded path of each branch, merge, and tag, along with an icon of who submitted it and a change list description. Hover over the dot to get more info or click to link directly to the commit. Next, let's take a look at the Issues section. Let me show you an example of a filled out list. Issues help you track project progress and collaborate with team members by sorting out who needs to do what and when. You can view open and closed issues in a list format, which is great when you just need to add a new issue or search for a specific one. There's also a number of ways to sift and sort the list. For a more organized and visual experience, you can group issues into Kanban-style boards for shepherding tasks through stages of review or tracking levels of completion. And milestones allow you to organize issues and merge requests into a cohesive group, a great way to achieve a broader goal in a certain period of time. If you don't want to keep your documentation in your repository, but you do want to keep it in the same project as your code, you can use the wiki we provide. Navigate to it using the sidebar on the left. And on the right is a navigation menu, allowing you to quickly access different pages of your wiki. If you don't already have one, you'll be given an option to create a new wiki on this page. We support file attachments, linking, and a variety of markup languages, such as ASCII doc, Markdown, Textile, and more. You can edit the navigation bar for your wiki on the top right here. Now let's move on to the project settings. Here you can set the name, picture, and description of your project, or set the visibility to public, internal, or private. If you need, you can archive or delete your project from the advanced settings at the bottom. Next you can find the configuration settings for version control, continuous integration and delivery, as well as pages. You can also enable integrations for apps like Slack, Discord, Jira, and more. And finally, we have the Project Members section. Here you can invite new members or even whole groups and give them a role according to their responsibilities, as well as manage the accounts, access, and roles of the existing members of your project. Now that you're familiar with the main features of the WVS web client, it's time to gather your team and start building.